What's up, guys? Welcome back. I wanted to do a quick video today um, about four ways that clients can find you as a small business owner. And this applies across the board. Um, they're in really no particular order, but some are more beneficial than others. Um, shout out to uh, Detroit Sponge for providing my apparel today. Um, love that place. If you guys need supplies, they're, they're great. They're a great great source to go to so um anyway back to the back to the clip here i how many of many of you know i've got started very early on um, 2018 and i did everything organically i let the company grow organically i was able to do that because it was my side hustle it was my extra money i didn't need it it was just um kind of a spur of the moment thing that i decided to do this i didn't know how to do any of it to be honest with you but I realized looking back that there were some key things that I was able to do, not knowing it at the time, that really set me up for future success. Um, so to get right straight, straight to it here, so an obvious one are the socials. You're going to want to create a Facebook. You're going to want to create a TikTok. You're going to want to create an Instagram. If you don't know how to do any of that stuff, find somebody that does. Any way to get your visibility higher online, put content on there, make videos, satisfying clips my business grew early on relatively quickly because of facebook now the algorithm has changed a lot since 2018 2019 2020 um i'm still pretty active on there but i've definitely seen the growth um slow down a little bit i don't pay for anything i don't pay for ads um i you know I just post on there, uh, people see it, and and that's honestly just a great way to get, um, you know, online. And make sure all your handles are the same on Instagram, YouTube, um, Facebook, all across the board. Consistency is key here. Um, same thing with all the info about the business, everything. Um, so another, you know, leading into the next one, so that those socials actually turn into the next one. So the next one's going to be word of mouth. Okay. That's a big one. A lot of people, um, swear by a lot of people literally that's all they do. You know, they've been doing it for so long that people just hear about them. They're not active on Facebook. They're not active online. They're not, you know, putting out ads in magazines. It's literally just words of mouth. Um, and you know, that's just a really great way to, um, you know, get out there. Um, I even have gone to lengths early on to incentivize my, incentivize my, um, my clients, um, offering them 10, 20% off, you know, for referrals. So, um, you know, word of mouth referrals, um, it goes with residential, it goes with, um, commercial property, um, you know, and, and I think that really works well for really any business, right? I mean, any business really wants that. Um, going to my next one is, um, networking. Okay. This has been absolutely huge for me as of late. Um, since I quit my full-time job a couple years ago, you know, I, I did it early on, but just the last few years, I really dove into it. Get active in your community, find networking groups, find businesses that complement yours. Okay. For me, it was cleaning businesses. It was pressure washing businesses. It was painting businesses. Really any businesses that go into homes like I do, okay? Um, I have gotten calls from businesses from all across the board saying, hey, I'm going to be in here on this date. Can I just include you? Can you provide me with a few numbers? Basically, they want to like sub it out to me which is fine. My rates don't change. Um, you know, with, with, with networking, you can go a few routes. I've actually taken my Facebook page and dove into a few of the networking groups on Facebook. That's another excellent way to get exposure. Um, I, I think I've done it pretty well. Anytime window cleaning comes up in a couple of these groups that I'm in locally, my name is always the one that's mostly brought up. Okay. And I've met these folks that bring my name up. That's another part of it. You've got to try to meet these guys and gals in person, okay? Put a face to the business. It will benefit you in amazing ways, okay? And you'll realize that. Um, you know, so another one, you know, um, you know, like I said, collaborate, get in local groups, you know, the whole nine. Some of the groups I've been called numerous times about, like BNIs, Businesses Networking, I think International is what it's called. It costs money. Um, 
couple that they want me to get into is like $1,200 a year and you got to weigh those options. There's strict rules to it. There is, you know, you got to, some of them meet once a, once a week, some of them meet, you know, once every two weeks, once a month, whatever. Um, but there's value there because you're putting your face in front of these clients that will introduce you to their network and you introduce them to your network. So it's really a lot of, it's a lot of receiving, but it's also a lot of giving. So you gotta, you kind of gotta work both ways there. Um, and I've, I, I, I may show up to a couple. Um, there's a couple times you can show up, you know, just for free, see what it's all about. May do it. I may not, who knows this last one, um, that I'm going to mention today is the fourth way to get clients to come to you is get on Google. I cannot stress this enough. When I got on Google, my, my, my exposure, my calls, my emails, everything went through the roof. Now it doesn't happen overnight. One of the key things on Google and they've changed recently, the app's gone down, Google my business is no longer. Now you got to get on Google um, apps or Google search and that's how you edit everything. And then there's a process to get on Google, which I can go through another video, drop some comments below. If you haven't got on Google, if you need help getting on Google and I can do a quick video about how to get on Google, um, the Google listings. So you can appear when people search for certain things, I would say probably 80, 75 to 80% of my exposure, my calls, my jobs come from Google. Okay. I implemented a review, um, request on my CRM that I use. Okay. And it is done just crazy cool things to my Google, my listing. Okay. Google listing. Um, first and foremost, you want to get reviews. You want to get positive reviews. That should be your first step. Okay. Once you're on there next one, post pictures, try to do it once every two days, once every three days, post content, post, uh, there's posts like you can make a post on there and say, Hey, for this month, I try to do that once a month. I try to post pictures once or twice a week. Um, and that's catapulted me. I probably have at least in my immediate area. Okay. So in probably two counties, I probably have it at least double the reviews of any other window cleaning company around me. Okay. Um, I'm a one man show. Okay. I make it look like I'm bigger online. So I, don't get passed up on certain jobs. I've done big jobs, but I can also recruit people to help me. Um, other business businesses around me that I have relationships with. It's a great thing to do, by the way, the, there's enough glass to go around, you know, competitors bring them in. Okay. They, you guys can help each other. And I'm proof of that. And I got stories about that too, if you want to hear them, but, um, you know, get the reviews. I have at least double the reviews of anybody. I have done no SEO work. I just do what I'm supposed to do on Google and I'm always one, one, two or three. I've been normally around one or two, depending on who searches, where they search, but I'm up there and I have, a, I think it was like 128 five-star reviews right now on Google. And that took me a while. I think I got 50 just last year by implementing through my CRM automatic requests from um, my software. So I think that's a huge one. Um, you can apply this to really any business that you have. Um, you know, I can elaborate on any of these. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't f forget to subscribe. I'm always looking for new subscribers. I'm trying to launch this thing off the ground with just really positive content that helps you, um, you know, and helps really anybody that's, that's, that's willing to listen, you're here for a reason, whether you already have a window cleaning business, you're trying to start a business of any kind, um, or you're just looking for info. So any, any and all comments, questions, um, critiquing, I'm new at this. I don't know what I'm doing still. Everything is on a whim. Um, I'm going to get better, you know, get better setups and stuff like that. Um, so, but I, I appreciate you tuning in. I'm going to try and get, you know, at least a video or, or two up a week. Um, so stay tuned and um, yeah.